from this accident this happened so i started wanted to modify the car My name is uh, Mehdi Abdullah Marzouk. I'm a retired football player uh, of Al Ahli Club. Yeah, I've been playing there since I was five years old. From a hobby, it became uh, a job which is paying. My first car was a uh, Chevrolet Optra. But the first car I sat on with license was a uh, Mitsubishi Outlander 2007. I even built its uh, monitor yes i made few lights underneath it was like a small car most of my life i always had normal cars not overrated cars never overrated cars because i didn't know about cars for me cars used to be from it just takes me from point a to point b that's it like i didn't had much interest in this like i was like you know i'm a professional football player i can drive the Toyota avalon or a camry so it's, it's not that it's not that it's bad but it's just like uh, i wanted to be in, in in an image of a professional football player uh, alhamdulillah I, when i signed the year uh, the contract with them i bought the 86 so the 86 was the first car of my own money I bought in my own uh, sweat and tiredness, my legs were hurting and I was just, uh, like, I just deserved the car. So I bought it, I wanted to buy a GTR, R35, okay, that, 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 this is my dream car, it's my dream car, like Lamborghini, Ferrari, Porsche, Rolls Royce, all this I top up with Nissan GTR. That's it, the, the R35. So, but I couldn't afford differently. So my mom gave me a good deal. Uh, she said, just get this car in 86 for your brother, like in uh, three years, four years, and then you can collect money and then you can get the GTR. So I was like, uh, it's a good deal, so let's do it. So then I got the car. Um, day by day, I started liking the car because it was my first sports car. So like, I mean, like it, it, it considers sports because it looks, it's power, it's good enough for its performance, for everything. So I was, then I slowly I got it, I got into cars and everything. So I had an accident. Then from that accident, uh, slowly I started getting into the engine itself, like the parts in the engine itself. And then my friends started sending me these posts of uh, road driving and uh, this GT86, uh, JDM, like, and I, I, I saw like what the car is capable of, the body kits, the lights, the engine, the interior, the rims, the hydraulics. So from there, from, from this accident, this happened. So I started wanted to modify the car. So then I told my brother, sorry, when you will grow up, you will work, you will get your own car because I will start working on the car. And I started working on the car, even though it's, it's, it's automatic, the car is automatic. Even though it's automatic, I still wanted to work on the car. The, all, the first modification I had the opportunity to do it was uh, I saved up money for a cat back. So this was, this was my first modification I did on the car, which was cat back. So yeah, from there it started. So I just had this modification. It was NVIDIA N1. I gave my car. I bought all the parts by myself. Then I went to DX garage. I gave him the car. I gave him the parts. I said, do your thing. So while they were working, I traveled to get married. Yeah. So then when I came back after a few days, the car was ready. And when I went to, to take the car, I was, I was just shocked. Like I was shocked as in there was a big gap between a stock and a modified one. Like, it's a very huge gap like i was surprised like i was just amazed by how the car looks completely different even my friends they they, they got shocked because they were like bro your car is from 2015 is 2000 maybe 60 now <laughs> the good about this car you can still change it even more you don't need you don't need much to just like for example the parts you have you can just remove it and put something else and it will look different again then i started modifying the cars uh, the car and uh, this was the first car i modified and uh, yeah from there it starts i got i got really interested so when the car was done the car looks like a beast 
So then I started to be interested in performance because I was like, okay, the looks is done. Let's work with performance. So, but then still, like even even that time, I was like, still the looks. We didn't finish with the looks. I still wanted to do hydraulics. I still wanted to do a perfect paint job. I have two tunings: the normal tuning, and then I have a second tuning for the pops. The pops were the best tuning of all time. And even and with turbo now with turbo it even goes more <laughs> and it's louder. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so then I did the small modifications because I wanted the car to. First, I was thinking to make the car in an image of that. Okay, it sounds like it has the potential, but it doesn't. But mainly it was for looks at the beginning so yeah then i added the hydraulics uh, i changed my spoiler and then i did this paint job which was done by uh, rex autocare i worked with them the first time i uh, was with them i did with them the wrap they did it's uh, pearl red cherry amazing wrap i love the wrap so much uh, my favorite color is red so I love the, the rap so much because the rap is, it's, it, it, it defines the car. Like the car is a she, by the way. So she's like, she's like a regular female. She's, uh, she has a mood swing. So, and like every time she's outside, depends on the weather, the color of the car changes. It changes. Like, I swear, if you just look at it, day in uh, like daytime, it's a different car. And then uh, sunset is a different car. Nighttime is a different car. And then sometimes they say, they say like in pictures the car looks matte, uh, not matte, uh, more like satin. Yeah. But then as well, like I said, it depends on the edit, depends on the weather, depends on the time and the lightings and everything. 